Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have some interesting content for you. Uh, here I have another wheel which is uh, Gatway and Super Pro which came to me for a tuning process but uh, when I disassembled it I noticed that uh, this wheel is the victim of bad assembly. So here you can see that this area of the inner shell where pedal hangers were fixed is damaged. Uh, here we can see that plastic uh, where the screws were is kind of melted. Also, we can see here a crack. This is the result that bolts were really hardly fastened here, uh, much more hardly than it's required. That's why this crack happened. And also there was applied a lot of thread locker, which damaged this plastic. Uh, you can see here is kind of white uh, color. And if we go back on the other side, so we can see here a lot of remains of this thread locker, which is white here, here. And on the pedal hanger we can see the remains of it as well. On this side of the pedal hanger we can also see this thread locker as well. So this is the result of improper assembly. Someone who were assembling the motor inside the inner shell uh, put here a lot of thread locker. Then tried to put this uh, screw inside. Uh, screwed it like this. And lots of thread locker uh, left on this plastic. And as long as it was uh, fastened uh, really hard. Uh, the thread locker made the reaction with this uh, plastic and now we can see the, that this plastic is kind of melted inside also pay attention that i can't just screw this bolt with my hands i have to use this um, key like this this means that the plastic was melted inside so hard that uh, the thread was made and if you have ever disassembled Bigade or Gatway wheels you may know that this uh, hole is kind of a little bit bigger than this uh, screw and you just put it inside and uh, then screw it just into the uh, pedal hanger, but not in the plastic like in this case. Так, ну чё, пробую открутить хотя бы один. Сейчас посмотрим. Бля, затянуто от души, смотри. Ты видишь, что происходит? Так, сейчас я упрусь ногой. Ну вот он стронулся. Ну, короче, Мое мнение здесь перетянуто и фиксатора до хуя. Но я чувствую, да, что на фиксаторе он я, она туго идет. То есть все, они, блядь, перетянули, короче. Ну реально, это, это блядь, по-другому никак. Он, я упираюсь, как он. Видишь, вот такой рычаг. Опа, вот пошло. Но это ненормально. So for you guys who do not know how to properly screw these uh, screws and what the moment you should apply, uh, here is a good instruction from me. Just take uh, this kind of key. Uh, it must be as shitty as you can find. There shouldn't be any uh, keys with uh, special mechanism or long arm because with this shitty key you cannot apply too much force to these screws. So when you try to screw it inside, uh, hold it like this in this position not here but here and try to feel the moment when there is the end of the thread and a good indicator here in the screws is this spring washer when it uh, pushes down and uh, kind of activates it means this is enough to screw it inside and you should stop uh, this is not a metal this is plastic and it is really easy to damage it keep this in mind if you want to use uh, here a thread locker, which I am using too, I can tell you my life hack how I do that. Uh, never put the thread locker on this uh, thread of the screw. It's a really bad idea. A good idea to use a thread locker is uh, to put it inside the uh, pedal hanger threads. Uh, so like you install the uh, pre-assembled uh, motor on the holder like this uh, vertically. Then you put thread locker just there. Uh, then clean up this area with uh, something like gasoline or uh, spirit uh, to make make sure that uh, this area is absolutely clean and doesn't have any thread locker and afterwards you can put on the inner shell here this is the only proper way to do that so how am i going to fix that first of all i am going to apply these big washers but before applying these washers i must align this surface so I'm going to clean up these areas from the remains of thread locker and then I will put here melted polymorph plastic then put uh, the washers uh, on it then screw it down to this adjacent surface after it will cool down I will remove this washer check the uh, surface here and if I will be satisfied then I will put the big washers back and will continue uh, reinforcing this part of the inner shell 
uh, with the extra plastic. Of course, I will do as much more as I can because this part of the inner shell is already starting to destroy. Also, we can see here things like this. You can see that the part of inner shell is missing here where I'm pointing with my tweezers. Here is missing a part of the screw holder. I've got only this uh, part of it. Uh, the other side, I guess, was cracked out and uh, lost somewhere when the wheel was uh, riding. Uh, so I've got to think about this because uh, if I will not uh, work with this area, if I will not restore this part of the inner shell where the fixation is done, this means that uh, this part of the inner shell won't be properly fixed and you may see that uh, there is a lot of dirt here and there was like a missing contact here on this part of the inner shell. how the reinforcement of inner shell looks like. You may notice that I use this screwdriver which is not really sharp 
uh, to remove the excesses of uh, so-called melted plastic here on these uh, screw holes. It became something like soft substance and this is the true result of reaction uh, of the uh, thread locker with the inner shell plastic. Here I have added three millimeters more of plastic on this side. Also, I've closed uh, these big holes. Now its dimension here is only for a nut, and uh, this also gives additional rigidity to this uh, part of the inner shell. Here I've closed all the reinforcement ribs with the plastic, and on this side as well. Uh, I can't uh, do much more here because here we have the controller board installed. And here we have the music board with the speakers on this side. Here I have repaired the fixation detail of the inner shell. So I've melted a cracked piece, which luckily remained in place uh, when I have disassembled this wheel. And on the other side I've tried to recreate the missing part of detail from plastic, uh, which uh, looks similar to stock. I guess it now will work and uh, will fasten uh, two pieces of inner shell together very well. I didn't recreate the part of the wheel well here and here because I do not see any necessity in that. I will just put here a lot of sealant when I will assemble this wheel and this will perfectly protect this part from uh, moisture and dirt and grass uh, where the uh, backlight is uh, located here. On this side of the inner shell I've also created so-called uh, special pad. Uh, which perfectly uh, fits uh, this shape of the pedal hanger. So the pedal hanger is being installed there nicely and tightly. This was done to get rid of extra weight of the wheel from these uh, screw holes here in the pedal hangers area because they are already a little bit damaged. You see here there are still remaining spots where the uh, thread locker was kind of integrated in this plastic. So I'm pretty sure this extra pad will do a great job in helping these uh, screw holes and uh, hole reinforcement of this area. All M Super Pro owners know that the stock LED lighting of the wheel uh, really sucks. This is the stock light diffuser which was made by some insane employee of Gatway or Bigade. Uh, this doesn't allow any light to pass through. And of course when I see M Super Pro which are coming to me for maintenance, I always ask the owners if their LED strips are working or not. Basically, when some dirt is gathering on this uh, shitty detail, you can barely see the LED strip light coming from inside. So this piece of shit will go directly to the trash can. And uh, here in this wheel, I am going to install these uh, LED modules, which are made by Alexey. I will leave his uh, Telegram nickname in the description to this video. Uh, feel free to contact him and uh, order yours. And it's better to say that it's really a must for all M Super Pro owners because these LED modules are working uh, like stock ones. So you may know that in stock ones you have like uh, daylight running light on the uh, forward light and the running light uh, with the uh, stop signal on the back light. So it's really great functionality when you are riding uh, on the same road with the cars. And uh, because uh, these modules are really bright, they could be easily noticed during the daytime riding. And of course, uh, the uh, vehicles which are moving uh, behind you, they could see what you are doing, whether you are just riding or you have started to brake. And this will give you a lot of safety on the roads. So these modules are made like rigid blocks. Uh, they are fully waterproof and you can install them into the standard places of the inner shell. So here you can see that I have installed them already. I've used the standard bolts here. So the only thing you have to do here is uh, just to solder these uh, standard gateway wires. Uh, so here we have uh, plus 5 volts uh, ground and data in for the forward uh, light and uh, plus 1 wire which is data out for the backlight. So everything is standard as a gateway connection. So you just uh, solder these wires to the modules and then connect them here to this uh, standard gateway backlight and you will get all the standard uh, lighting bolts from uh, Bigada controller including this uh, daytime running light uh, for the front light and the running light with the braking functionality for the backlight, which is really cool and nice. Additionally to these modules, I will install a custom LED lighting kit from EUCU brand. Uh, traditionally, I will leave the link in the description to this video to EUCU Instagram. Uh, feel free to check it out because EUCU brand has lots of uh, custom tuning for Gatway and Bigade wheels, like fiberglass protection shells, like custom pedals, pedal hangers and lots of other stuff.
which will make your wheel look unique and premium. Here on this side of the inner shell I've already made the custom windows for LED lighting uh, which I've covered already with an epoxy resin. Here on this sides of the inner shell I will install these LED strips like this so they will produce lots of light which will come through these custom windows directly on the rods and this will definitely give a really cool lighting effect while riding on this wheel. Also I will cover all these areas with a super transparent uh, sealant uh, like this which is called crystal and it will give the additional light transfer on the motor of the wheel. On these sides of the inner shell uh, with the help of cutting these LED strips and making this extra connection I will install uh, those strips like this and they will produce a lot of light uh, which will be forwarded directly to the motor which will also give a really cool look of this wheel during riding. So now I am going to do the installation of all these lights and in the end of this video I will definitely show you guys how this looks like and how awesome is this lighting on this unique M Super Pro. And when I'm popping you get down like this And when I'm popping you get down like this And when I'm popping you get down like this During my work with the controller board of this EUC I decided to make a small upgrade of the cooling system. So originally the fan was installed right here. You can see two spots of uh, uh, sealant which covered the holes where the ventilator was installed. So it was blowing directly to the DC-DC converter which I consider kinda stupid because the hot area is here. So I've moved the ventilator to this place and I also moved a little bit lower the DC DC converter to feed this ventilator. Although the fan blows just on one side of the controller board, this is not so considerable because the controller board is covered by the thick layer of uh, compound and this compound has thermal transfer capabilities so it will definitely help to dissipate heat from all the areas and as the fan uh, cools this area the compound will uh, transfer heat from this area here and so on and so forth. So I can see that this upgrade will help this controller board to be a little bit cooler than in the stock variant. So that's about it. If you like this type of tuning, uh, like this video, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel and also consider subscribing to my Telegram channel. The link to it will be in the description to this video. See you later guys.